Hey guys, so I've had a very interesting day. Ooh. I, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> my dogs. I love my dogs to death, but I had to rearrange my entire living room today. Had to, not wanted to. Had to. I have my couch up against my window, but I had to move it to the other side of the wall where my husband hates for the couch to be. Because we had a little bit of a bigger couch, um, and we had it over against the other wall, and he said that it was just always in the way, and it annoyed him. So we got a smaller couch and put it by the window. But unfortunately, I had to move the couch from the window and just rearrange it, and that was frustrating. But I think because it's a smaller couch, it's going to work, and I don't think my husband's going to complain as much. <laughs> but I had to do a, a sewing patch on my couch because my 120-pound dog decided today he was going to climb in the window and dig his claws into my couch, which is something he never does. And I had a gaping hole about yay big that I had to sew. So I got it taken care of. I got the couch moved and I like the way the living room looks and feels and I can still move around pretty good. So I, th I think it'll be fine. I just I got to keep my dog from the window because I don't want that incident to happen again and I can't afford to just go out and buy a new couch every time my dog decides to destroy it and believe me when you have a 120 pound dog or a bigger dog that likes to have lots of energy and bounce around and jump off walls and stuff you tend to go through some couches. <laughs> And couches get expensive. So I'm determined to keep this one for at least two years. Maybe three if I can. I don't know. So I'm just going to see. <laughs> That's all I can do. But... You know, I I go th I tell you these little stories because I go through life. I struggle through with things. I struggle just like everybody else does. I am just a normal human being that deals with this crazy adventure we call life. Um, I've heard people call it a roller coaster. And through everything, I just have to say like. God is in control. It's all going to be okay. Don't lose your mind because like my first my first reaction to seeing that rip in my couch because my dog wanted to tell the mailman a thing or two even though the mailman was already halfway down the driveway going to another house. I don't know. Um it just it, it just irritated me a little. And, uh, he, you know, it, he's a dog. He loves to be brat and stuff. And my first reaction was I wanted to scream. I wanted to yell. I wanted to lose my mind because the dog had destroyed something. But, you know what, in that moment... What went through my mind was, if the rapture was to happen right now, would this couch really mean anything to me? Would it be valuable to me to, is it really worth losing your mind over? It's just a couch. Everything is replaceable that is material and and that just really helped me see things in a different way and go, you know, it's just a couch. And if the rapture were to happen right now, this couch would be invaluable to me. It would mean absolutely, yeah, it would mean absolutely nothing. 
So there's no need for me to get mad over this couch that literally I'm going to leave behind in the rapture anyway. And when you start look, I've noticed for me personally, when I start looking at things as, as they're material objects, it's, it's not, that's not what's important. What's important is giving honor, glory, and praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And making sure that his legacy is left behind. And that's really helped me not to get so angry at things. And to learn to let the little things go. Like my husband cluttering up every little inch of my house. Which, okay, I will admit, I will let it go for a while. But I do get to the point where... Uh, I'll get a little bit angry, but I, instead of yelling at my husband over it, I've gotten to the point where I just take all of his stuff from that one particular room, and I move it to his two rooms in the house, and I tell him, do not put it back in my rooms, or you will find yourself uh, permanently misplacing this stuff. And he's like, oh, okay. So... I, I do make my intentions known, but I've done it more in a loving way and, you know, focusing on what's truly important, which is Jesus and focusing on what we can do to leave his legacy behind and how we can become more Christ-like honestly helps me care less about the material things or my personal emotions and I feel like it helps me be a better person. Am I going to sin? And am I going to... I'm gonna, I'm a sinner. So I'm going to stumble. I'm going to fall. I'm going to lose my... I'm going to lose my cool. I am... But when I do... I... I st not immediately. Sometimes it takes me a little bit. But I do go to Jesus and I say, I'm sorry. And then I'll go to that person and I'll say, hey, I'm sorry. I lost it. I'm sorry. I'm only human. But I'm going to try to do better. And I ask God to help me do better. And, you know, it, it's, it just is what it is. And I am so grateful that God is using every situation that I have to show me how more important he is and how less important this world is. The only thing that's worth anything in this world is the people for the harvest of Jesus and his legacy and spreading his gospel and his word and just trusting in Jesus because he will provide everything. He is the rock, he is the staff, and he is our strong fortress. Like, I am so grateful, I am so happy that I have Jesus in my life. I, I'm so grateful that I don't have to I don't have to fear because the Lord God is with me they're all things I, I'm just so grateful that Jesus shows me him and shows me how to live for him while I'm here on this earth all right, you guys, I'm going to get off here um, because, like I said, I do have some errands to run. Uh, I will talk to you later. You guys have a great day, and I cannot wait for the day of the rapture. I cannot wait for that day. Today is a good day for the rapture. If not, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.